Conley, get it up and over. To the soccer game that you uh, were doing, Bishop Fian was mentioned, it's very difficult for these coaches. For over the net. Over the net this time, so. Yeah, she went. Yeah, I would bet on our truck being correct. <laughs> I was going to say it. Three point for Conley. Let's see it. See the hands come up hot. Yep. Fiera. And now in game number two. Interesting. Uh, Mayer's the most effective server on Conley. She comes right back into yeah. the middle. And that's where she does her best work. Good hit that time from Bishop. And a point for Tri County. They get back within one here in game three. It's 13 12. The Fitzpatrick. Bishop, another. Kinsella, the freshman, with the serve for Conley. And Attleboro get a little lucky as that hit off the top of the net. And it wasn't be able to play, excuse me, Tri-County getting a little bit lucky and Chelsea Gordon not able to get it back over for Conley. Good attempt from the captain, but another point for Tri-County and they lead 10 to five. And that make that 11 to five as Amanda Tavares not able to handle the serve from uh, the captain, Emily Bishop. Now, another serve to the back. That was touched by a Conley player, so another point. The 12 to seven lead already up one game. Trying to get themselves to three and one on the season, also trying to get their second conference win of the season. As this one just gets across and drops in, Fitzpatrick getting the point. Puts Tri-County back up by six. See, another way to handle that, but I'm not sure Conley can jump high enough, is when you see it just on the edge and then it jump up and slam it back. Don't let it come over. You don't see that a lot in volleyball anymore. Well, I think part of the problem is the first, first part of what you said, which is the jump up. Yeah. We haven't seen that too much from Conley. Vieira with the hit, and she gets the point. The North Attleboro senior, the captain, coming up with the kill here for Tri-County. Vieira, one of two North Attleboro residents on the Tri-County squad, the other being the junior Ashley Johnson, who we haven't seen yet. Patrick just getting it over, but I believe she went. Booming hit from Emily Bishop and Cancelo not able to handle it on the back line. Really, down in the end, that's the significant difference between these two teams. Yeah, the net attack. And, and you know, she's caught in the middle. You can't set that one. You really can't dig it. it you just let it hit you. Again, miscommunication. You could see Tamello pointing to her ear. Nobody, nobody calling that one out. Yep. And an easy point for Tri County. It's Bishop serving. Comes this side and it drops in just in front of Catherine Gordon. Excellent serve. First one side, then the other. Yeah, that's a tough place to put a serve. That should have been handled. Mayer setting it up. And a good block at the net from Vieira. Oh, a good touch from Madeline Duar yep. getting it just up over Vieira for the point. Yep, just came in the contest and made a difference. So Tri Canada will get it back and they regain the two point lead. Sort of a down year for Bishop Conley. They went 15 and three last season. They were the number three seed in the 
South sectional the year before, 13 and five. They've made the playoffs three straight years. But Tri-County, I think, are getting them at the right time. As Conley trying to rebuild. Yep. It's so hot, I know when I was a high school coach, you tried to avoid rebuilding. You try to build when you're strong and uh, good players inherit the positions, but it doesn't always work that way. If he had 12 seniors last year, there's no way he could have rebuilt. And now it's gonna be a carry called against Ari Diamond. Yeah. Obviously you'd like to say, oh, let's get the JV players some playing time, you know. They got uh, Fitzpatrick again that time, it was so obvious.